Good morning, everyone. I am so ready for like a quiet, relaxing morning this summer. As you guys know, um, last week I had talked about we were at VBS and like it was really good, really good. It was just like really busy mornings. By the end of the week, I was like, okay, um, I am I am ready for like some quieter days. And then the weekend was busy. Sunday was good, but like we had church in the morning and then we went out with friends um, later on in the day. So like we were hardly home Sunday. And now it's Monday. It is first thing in the morning. I have an appointment this morning just after nine. I wish I hadn't scheduled it for like Monday morning because I had to wake up almost all the kids this morning, say, come on, let's go. I know we were out late last night, but get up. Let's go, have some breakfast. We need to get out the door. I'm gonna drop the kids off at my parents' house and then I am going just to um, an eye doctor's appointment. The rest of my week, the rest of my week should be pretty low key, I think. We'll still have our busy evenings, but I think our mornings are pretty free, pretty laid back. The kids can just have a quiet morning and not be so rushed by me. I do feel like that is when I lose my patience. Like if I never had to go anywhere with the kids, like if we could just stay home all the time, I would be such a patient mom. It's always like, come on, let's go. We gotta get out the door. Come on, let's get your hair done. We gotta go out the door. Get your shoes on. What's taking you so long? That's when I lose my patience. So far, I have been pretty good this morning. I just have to be content with like, actually, I might take Simeon. I might get Simeon to take those banana peels out. But like, dishes are part way done. Dishes are like, still kind of all over the counter. I don't like leaving the house in this condition, but I think that might be what we have to do because it's time to go out. Thankfully, there is a fresh pot of coffee that Andrew made before he left for work, which makes my morning so much easier. One step, one step I don't have to do, right? Time to go with a nice, fresh, hot coffee. I was going to maybe take my camera with me, but my battery light is flashing. So instead, it is going to stay here with the charger. I usually do this back here behind this chair. Tuck it in back here so nobody's going to trip over it and we'll see you guys in a few hours. Well, hello, fully charged. <laughs> My camera that is and I am home. What's the matter? That is the look of windblown hair from uh, our drive home with no air conditioning. And yes, it's like 30 degrees uh, Celsius. I'm not trying to constantly complain about not having AC. I'm just kind of letting you guys know. So if you wonder why we look so like glisteny and why our hair is such a mess, that is why because we don't have air conditioning and it is hot outside. Like I said, it was gonna be a few hours before I came back on here and yes, it is now three o'clock. We were gone longer than I intended to be. Elijah, why did you leave the back door open? I went to my eye doctor appointment um, and then I went back to my parents' house. We had lunch there, but then the, um, the people at the eye doctor's place said that my glasses were going to be ready. I came over here because I should show you my glasses. They said that my glasses would be ready in a couple of hours. And so then I was like, okay, do I stay at my parents' house for longer than I intended to? because like I told you guys, I'm looking forward to a quieter rest of this week, or do I wait till tomorrow to pick them up and then there goes my quiet morning tomorrow because I have to go in, which is like half an hour away for me to go pick up my glasses. So I decided to stay at my parents' house until my glasses were ready, went back, got those, drove home, Wesley slept the entire drive home. Uh, I usually try to keep him awake so that he'll nap at home, but he was just so tired that he fell asleep like two minutes after I put him in his seat. So I was like, there's no trying anymore. There's no like trying to keep him awake. He's out, but I transferred him to his bed. He fully woke up and everything. I'm hoping maybe he'll go back to sleep and sleep a little bit longer. We'll see. Uh, but my glasses are in this cute bag. I'm gonna put those on and I will show you. Well, that's sure a nice little surprise in my glasses bag. They sent me a Lindor and it's dark chocolate. That's my favorite kind. Okay, there they are. What did you just say? I have to put on I have other glasses too and they are purple. And you like my purple ones better? Yeah. I think these ones are so, so much nicer. I, I know that these are not like what's really in style right now, but I think I like those. Come here. I like Why, what do you think? I know, I just like the purple ones. Really? Okay, so. 
If you guys watch my channel at all, you're probably thinking, oh, Julie, glasses, that's your first time having glasses. Not true at all. I got my first got glasses. Two other pairs. I don't, I don't know why you keep saying that. I only have one other pair. No, you had two other pairs. Okay, I don't you know. Have purple ones, Do I have other ones. Oh, like old ones that are probably like an old prescription, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I got my first pair of glasses when I was five. I have a very lazy eye. My left eye is a lazy eye, so I have had glasses ever since I was a little kid. But because it's a lazy eye that I have, I don't have to wear glasses at all. It's tricky to explain and it's honestly confusing for me, but I really just use one eye. Um, my brain isn't like computing with my left eye. But sometimes um, my eyes just feel tired or like just a little bit like strained because I am really just using one eye. So those times I pull up my glasses and wear them. Um, so my eye doctor today asked me, how often do you wear your glasses? And I said, oh, like every two or three months I'll wear them. And he was like, oh, really? Because I've always just been told wear them when you want to whenever you feel like you need to wear them. Um, and my eye doctor today said, well, you really should be wearing them more. Your left eye is kind of just gradually getting worse, little by little, uh, and so it would be better to wear them more. And I said, that's fine, just tell me. Tell me I need to wear them more, and I will. I just haven't been. But I really did want to get a new pair of glasses because, also look at that cute little like bling on the side. I thought those were really pretty. My other glasses don't have that, the, um, anti-glare, like if I was holding the camera and talking to you guys right now, you would see like glare and reflections. You wouldn't be seeing right into my eyes. And so I was like, I want a new pair that has that on them. So all that to say, I've just been like chatting and chatting with you guys. All that to say, you might see me with glasses more since he said I need to be wearing them more. Well, I really need to um, move some laundry on really need to clean the kitchen because it is just a mess with you since you didn't finish your morning um, dishes. But I think I'm going to move that laundry on and then I'm just going to come sit for a few minutes again because this day has kind of just been go, go, go. And it's literally like two hours from now we have to be piling into the van going to a baseball game. What a busy day. I moved over to sit beside Elijah who's reading what? Do you want me to show you what you're reading? Yes, so I have a couple of brothers and a sister who still live at home at my parents' house, and so Elijah loves to borrow books from my brothers, and so my brother Nathan has these Tintin books, and so Elijah asked to borrow those today. Actually, he didn't ask. Who did you ask if you could borrow them? Nana? No, Banana said I could borrow them. Nana said you could borrow them? Okay. Well, my brother's at work, so He's probably not going to watch this, but if he is, there you go, Nathan. Elijah's borrowing your book. Anyways, okay, I'm sitting here at my computer. I need to edit a video. I need to, um, I guess I need to edit a video. That's not online. It's not a big deal. But I came to sit down and I was going to check the, my video that went up today and check my comments and all that stuff. Um, our Wi-Fi is not, it's not working. It's just not on. And um, the Wi-Fi is in... Wesley's room, like our, uh, what is it called? What is that thing called, Elijah? <laughs> Sorry, I keep uh, interrupting you. What is the thing called where our internet is? <laughs> What's that thing called? The thing you plug in for the internet. Anyways, that is in Elijah and Simeon's room, but Wesley is napping in their room today. So I don't think I want to go in there and try to plug it back in. So I guess we're just not gonna have any internet until Wesley um, wakes up. And if you're noticing that I'm not looking at you guys, I'm looking at the viewfinder, it's because I'm not used to my glasses yet. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of something. Okay, this video is just gonna be like me talking. How do you guys feel like a vlog with just completely me talking? Um, kind of embarrassing but it just made me laugh this morning so I don't know if any of my clips this morning have like a smudgy spot in the corner but as I was filming I was like oh it's a little bit blurry there there must be something on my screen so I like took my dress and like wiped off my viewfinder and then started filming again no it's still a little bit like fuzzy there's something there why can't I see it I did it again and then I was like no it's still a little bit fuzzy duh Julie you don't have to wipe the viewfinder you have to wipe the lens of the camera I felt so stupid wiped that off and since then my videos have been clear it just made me laugh like Julie good grief what in the world what is your problem 
I just had a package from Sheen come in the mail. I wanted a couple more like summer dresses. These are super like inexpensive dresses. They're also like pretty cheap material. But for summer dresses, like just a cotton dress, I figured that's fine. I have a couple of like church dresses from them. Sorry, my mirror I'm sure is very smudgy. Yep. Anyways, I'm just gonna do a little try on haul for you guys. So this one at the front, I like. It is a little bit snug in the bum. I bought a medium and I thought it would be good. We'll see, I'll have to think about it. See if I wanna keep it or return it or what I wanna do. It's not bad, it's just, it's a little bit snugger than I would prefer. This one is a very similar style. It obviously needs an iron and I'm not great with materials, but I think it's linen. Um, very similar like style of dress, but I love the fit of it so much more. The length is really nice. It's not snug. It is a really nice one and it doesn't even seem too thin. Like it seems like a pretty good quality material. Okay, this is my last dress. I really like the color of this one. Uh, really nice fit. Again, all the dresses I ordered were a medium. This one fits really nice. Uh, the length is just right, like I don't want it any shorter, so I'll have to make sure that it doesn't shrink in the wash or in the dryer, be really careful with that. But this one is another thumbs up, and I love that this is actually like a functional drawstring. If I pull that out, like look how loose that is. And I can just adjust it to have how snug or how loose I want it to be. Okay, this top was my, I need to spend 10 more dollars to get free shipping purchase. And I love it, I really love this top. You know when you buy like inexpensive shirts, sometimes they come and they're like an awkward cropped um, length. This one is a really nice length. It feels really soft, like it does not feel like cheap material at all. It can be, you know, worn tucked in or you could tie a knot. This probably wasn't the best color of shorts to pair with this shirt, but you know, I just needed to put something on on the bottom to show you, to show you the shirt. So really happy with this one. No, we need to actually do a trick. Okay, just staying really still. Start to incorporate and run out the action. Let's go. Getting ready for a super early supper here. Look at the time, 4.20, but we have to be out of the house at five o'clock. We're gonna meet Andrew there. So we're just having, well, these are all out because I need to fill them so that we all have water tonight at the game. I took out some leftover egg salad and I took this out of the freezer. I'm gonna have to toast it because it's still pretty frozen. I have some blueberries, some apples. I'm also gonna slice up some cucumbers and that's gonna be our dinner. I also have some snacks packed and stuff. All right, Mr. Man, are you gonna end this video with me? Now that you're finally awake from your nap, he did have another really good nap. I had to wake him up and say, Wesley, it's time to get up. It's time to get up because it's time for supper. How crazy is that? Mwah. Can you say goodbye, everybody? Yeah. You're happier waking up than I thought you would be, to be honest. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Oh, were you giving a thumbs up? Show me your thumbs up. Wes, that's such a nice thumbs up. I'm Papa Press the button. Press button. Yep. <laughs>